bought the, I got Bobby and he said, use three keyboards, because you'll never stay in tune live. Never happen. It's, so it's, a, it's like the biggest London orchestra. Um, Her Majesty's Secret Service, if you ever hear that picture or see it, it's like a cult picture because it's the only one that didn't have any of the famous guys playing Bond. Oh, okay. And you hear this huge low-end stuff going on. I used to call him Big Bottom. I'd call him as... <laughs> yeah, I think I gave him a Grammy one year. He won the... Uh, for oh, yeah, he won in 1970 and in 2002, I think. He's 2002. Got to yeah. I gave him the award. Oh, wow. How special. Yeah, it's fun. It was wonderful because he's, I mentioned that it was the first time we could get that kind of bottom on a record. We were still making And when records. was it? Well, let's see, that would have been 69, 70? Yeah. yeah. 70 or 71. It was the beginnings, you know, and I, I had all the patching and all the stuff down. And I, and I moved to London, and John Barry said, how long do you need? I said, at least a month to learn all these cues. And then, because of the unions, I could only stand there and program. They had to play it. So the lines that were written for the tuba and French horns, you know, you know, doubled with this. No one had ever done that in, in a live scoring day. John is just so far out. Bob was a great guy. Yeah, he was. So if there was one sentence that you would like to share that she can put on the website about her dad, what would that uh, be? First of all, I think his love of music uh, shook up the music industry, which it needed. We needed something new. And classically, you know, it was a foreign instrument. I got called on the carpet at the Union for having a Moog in my ass. Can you believe that? It was ridiculous. I know, it happened back then. Yeah, yeah but it was, it was the point that new was new. And everybody at the Union at that time thought, this is going to replace musicians. Right. I just the opposite. I know. I know. It brought a whole group of students and a group of people who had been studying electronic music, like cutting tape and making sine waves and stuff, yep. and had not ever, ever done anything other than this little niche music. And, uh, you know, he really changed it all. He was a nice guy. He was very humble. And there were a few more players in here. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Sear Sound, Walter. Oh, Walter Sear, yeah. yeah.